I will open the uh, Zoning Board of Appeals meeting for March 19th, 2019. Ask everyone to please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. <coughs> I will reopen our public hearing from two weeks ago on March 5th, 2019. Um, the applicant uh, is not present. Um, if everybody remembers uh, from last discussion, and Danielle, to catch you up, the um, applicant allowed Mr. Thomo and myself to walk the property. Uh, we did do that. Mr. Thomo, did you want to come oh. join us? So I will open the meeting to any questions to Mr. Thomo. <clears throat> Anybody have any questions for Mr. Thomo? We, oh, I can stay a little couple of things before. Um, when we uh, arrived, uh, Mr. Judah allowed us on the property. And we took some photos. So I think I'll just show you guys what we're looking at. To give you a better perspective of what the situation is. And, Okay. I don't have copy, so I'm going to have to go by. This is just one of them in the back. That's just a picture. Yeah. I hit the wrong button there. So it's all over the property, mm -hmm. even in the front, too. That's not it. Steve, you've seen it. I don't have to show you. You want to refresh your memory? No, you can just Good. show yeah. it to both of them. Right. Uh, let's see. Hey, you want some of the middle? We both look at it. Okay. Let's see. Give me a look at that. It's right there. That's out of it. This is on the back. There is some items. Quite a bit of vitamins in the front. I didn't take pictures because it's there. Here's a good picture of that. Yes. Yeah. 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 Ye
Mr. Judah made the notice screening. That's in section C, uh, paragraph C, screening. Open air storage areas shall be screened from any adjacent residence or public way by planting or planting of fences. Junk, trash, or debris shall be confined out of sight. Loading or service areas shall be similarly screened from any adjacent residence. So my interpretation of this is, as we discussed, that gated um, fenced area, he's good. Mm -hmm. The bylaw protects him, as far as I'm concerned there. Well, I think you're mistaken with that, and uh, KB Law agrees with my interpretation of it, and the court has ruled in my interpretation of that, Mr. Chairman. Right. Well, that's uh, just... Open air storage. Yep. It doesn't say it's open air, it's open air. If it's in a building, it's not open air storage. That's just, that's, that's my interpretation, but this goes above and beyond because if you guys drove by or looked, um, Mr. Thome and I had the advantage of walking the property. We entered from the side of his driveway and just everything in the open, it, it, it's, it's an issue to me. There's propane tanks, uh, there's just vehicles that are rotting into the ground. Um, he does have a neighbor adjacent to him uh, in the back and to his side. Um, I don't, I don't know where the sport stands. I have spoken with um, the chair of the Board of Health. Uh, he's claimed to me that they're actually going to send the number five, um, send an inspector down from the Board of Health to the property based on the pictures that he saw. Yeah, there's like stuff in the ground. In plain sight. Yeah, growing into the ground, I guess you could say. Where's the part about fencing? It's a screen. Over here, okay. Yeah, it's over here. So it's open to the other people that live so Basically, visi side. visible from the road and visible from people's homes. Oh. I look at it as A and B. A is his yard that's visible. B is the screening. I, I believe he's protected from the screening on the fence portion. When we did do the site visit, um, the only thing he really wanted to show us was that junk pile, like a scrap pile that he was talking about, and it was way off in the corner behind a fence. And you just walk by everything else, and he was just blind to it all. So you mean like a scrap pile he's going to get rid of? No, he said he was going to work off of it. But to me, that was behind fence. That was screened. To me, the issue was the main property. I mean, I drove by there twice today. And I was just, you know, it's like I have hard reservations about, you know, that I really couldn't see all this stuff. Yeah. I went by there twice, coming and going, stopping slow, you know. I didn't pull anyone's driveway or anything of that nature. But I mean, you know, there's stuff on the side of the house by his porch area. And he's got half a ton of pellets there. I mean, I just... Mr. Thelma, did you receive a complaint from an, an abutter? Anonymous complaint, so... So you don't know who it was from? No. <coughs> and he did notify his abutter as nobody showed. Comments, thoughts? Nobody, oh, so they knew, but nobody came, huh? Nobody showed. The only one so that came was not. Mr. Holcraft like last time. They must not. I'm not a fan. I've spoken from day one since I've been in town of telling people what to do on their own property. But we have, we have town meetings and we have votes and we have bylaws that residents of this town implement bylaws. But is he unable to, you know, get rid of this stuff? Or is that'd be a just... conversation that he had with Mr. Thoma. You weren't here the last time. Right, I'm trying to feel I've, for what I met with him. He logged on the property in May last year. He agreed that it was junk and debris and in violation, and he agreed to get rid of it all. He shook my hand, looked me in the eye, said, I'll get rid of it. I'm like, great. How much time do you need? He goes, well, I'm leaving in the summer. And I said, great. Take off summer. I'll see you in the, and I'll see you in the fall. He said, absolutely, no problem. I'll take care of it all. I come back in the fall, kicks me off his property. Oh. At this last hearing, he agreed he has junk and debris on the property that you want to make, but it's on the video. So that's the kind of individual you're dealing with right now. 
Is it like the, the, is it the cost to remove it? Yeah. And admitted to thief, and he lied about cleaning it up. Is it, it's, is it the cost that he didn't he, he would, it, it was it was I was a referee Saturday <clears throat> I was very contentious um, there was no discussion of removal his focus of that whole meeting was that back scrap pile completely disregarding everything else on the property hmm. so he must not think it's junk everything again else. We, we've had this conversation one man's junk is another man's gold the bylaw, Mr. I, I just made that you statement, Mr. I just made that statement, sir. You're obligated to, to by enforce it, the bylaw. By indefinition of that bylaw, it is junk. Hmm. Okay. Any other questions? Do we have any discussion? So it's one of two things. We can. Uh, I'm going to entertain a motion to either approve or deny Mr. Judah's administrative appeal. <clears throat> hmm. I'm going after You're going after a lot. A bylaw. Yeah. He's he's applied to um for relief from this board that uh against Mr. Thomo's accusation that he's violation of the bylaw. If we vote to approve Mr. Judah's administrative appeal, that means Mr. Thomo is incorrect. Mm -hmm. If we choose to deny Mr. Judah's administrative appeal, we state that Mr. Thomo is correct in his interpretation of the bylaw. This screening, it says that the open storage area shall be screened from adjacent residences or a public way. So my it, interpretation of that would be he would have to fence it from his neighbor also. Not just not from, have, from everybody. Not have, yep. you know, from he, he, he does have screening that his backyard plural he's kind of got two backyards yeah. his he's got a large backyard so he's got a partial backyard and then a fence starts with a gate and then it's four four sides Is it fence from his neighbor? yes okay. but the front the front is atrocious the front is in violation of our bylaws and those did you show the them? The side of his property is uh, is viewed by his neighbor. By the neighbor. That's what I stated. No, but Mr. Mendoza. Yeah. Oh, so you mean like there's so part of it that's still if, not. If if you're look, if you're looking at his home, he's got a neighbor to his to, right. to his right, and he's got a neighbor behind. Mm -hmm. So the neighbor that drives through the driveway behind him can see everything. The neighbor can pretty much see everything. By the road, you can see partial. Yes, I. I Which is why I, we can't see anything. And that's why we did the yeah. site visit. I, I'm on record now that he's in violation of, of the bylaw. And you know how hard that is for me to say. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman, it's not I'm entertaining a motion. Say the facts. <coughs> So do we do we have a motion? I have to stick with the facts, especially I don't, I don't really need to hear them. Would you like to make a motion to <coughs> deny Mr. Judah's administrative appeal? Yeah, I need to make the motions. Do we have a second? I really don't have anything but facts, so <laughs> you know. Do we have a second? No one wants a second. I will second. Any discussion on the motion? I'm just kind of, you know, I'm just, I, I just can't, I don't, I don't see the stuff from the street. I don't see it from the street. So as a neighbor? That's why I, I didn't go into anyone's, I didn't go into anyone's driveway. Well, we, we walked the property. Mr. Thelma showed you the pictures. Oh, I know. It's but if it's all fenced in and screened, if you well, will. that's that's the back part. Yep. You had pictures. Of, I I know you took. That's what Mr. Judah objected. He's not fenced in all the way around. Charlie. He's you he, can see it from the sides. Charlie, he's got his property here, junk here, 
junk here, junk here, then he's got the fence. Road, neighbor, neighbor. <clears throat> this is this is this is on the Board of Health radar where they're gonna send an inspector out. That's how bad it is. Propane tanks, air conditioners, literally stacked on top of each other. <coughs> So you're saying that the neighbor to the right of him, there's no fencing? No, the only fencing in Mr. Judah's property is that back section here. There's, yep. a, there's a gate here. He, was, he brought us to a scrap pile over here. As far as I'm concerned, that's off limits. I buy a lot protects him from that. Mm -hmm. This is the issue here. Can you see that, Roger? Yeah, I can. What I see on the screen is that it has to be screened from all this adjacent residences, yep. too. I thought that if it wasn't visible from the street, you were okay. <clears throat> so there needs to be either fencing or some kind of other vegetation that's thick enough that the neighbor can't see it. Do we want to do roll call or any more discussion? Well, no, 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 sir. All right. So come to our yes. White. Yes. Mundell. Yeah, I have to say yes with this. Yeah. Wilson. Yep. Unanimous vote. Mr. Judah's administrative appeal is denied. I will adjourn the public hearing at 6:20. Do I have a motion to adjourn our meeting? Make a motion. <coughs> Do I have a second? Yes. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, everybody.